In this video, we're going to be making some rune spokes using the Polybridge tool. Let's zoom in and select some faces from the inner geometry. Hit the 4 key to get faces. Click on the Polybridge tool in the Polygon tab. And now let's grab the outer rim faces. Shift select the faces and hit the Enter key. We're going to make a bridge separately, source face to corresponding destination face, so set both to individual elements. Let's zoom out and see our bridge. OK, let's grab the rest of the faces and make the spokes. Because we already have two faces selected, we can just shift click to add more faces to the source selection. Hit Enter key to finish the selection. And select the destination faces now, again holding down Shift and select the remaining faces. Important thing to note, you must select the faces in the order of your source selection. Houdini will bridge the faces based on that and pair the sets together. Hit the Enter key to finish the selection. So here we have a few parameters we can tweak in the viewport. Divisions, destination magnitude, source magnitude, and default pairing shift. We can also go to the Parameters pane for more controls and settings to further tweak our bridge shape. And a few more tweaks will settle with this shape. I'm just going to change this to Straight Spine Interpolation. You can also alter the shape with divisions as well. In the Bridge tab, we can create the profile shape of our bridge by placing and positioning points in the thickness ramp. I'm just going to change the spine shape back to curved. For the twist ramp, just click also to put down a point where you want a twist to occur. To remove points, just click and drag on the box thingy and pull away from the ramp. You can use clip range to get some interesting growth effect. We are also able to still non-destructively edit the source and destination geometry and see the results get updated immediately. And we can edit at the geometry level, so for example, we can change the thickness of the bridge, all the while keeping the history and working in a non-destructive workflow. And that's the Polybridge tool inside Houdini.